Hi. The whole idea behind logarithmic functions is that they're inverses of exponential functions. So if f of x equals b to the x, then f inverse of x is the log base b of x. And that gives rise to two identities. First, f inverse of f of x, which is log base b of b to the x, is x. And second, f of f inverse of x, which is b to the log base b of x, also equals x. Now, this second identity is only true for positive values of x because only positive values of x are in the domain of the log base b. So this second one is only true for x greater than 0. But this identity is true for all x. Uh, let's use these uh, identities in some exercises. So let's evaluate each of the following. Log base 2 of 32. Well, first, you've got to recognize that 32 is an is a integer power of 2. Log base 2 of 2 to the fifth. And once you see that, you can use the first identity, log base b of b to the x equals x. So log base 2 of 2 to the fifth is 5. Here's another one. Log base 5 of 0 0.004. Now here I've kind of disguised it a little bit, but 0 0.004 is going to be a power of 5. It's the same as 4 over 100, which is the same as 1 over 25. And 1 over 25 is 5 to the negative 2. And again, by the first identity, log base 5 of 5 to the negative 2 is just 2. This one's a little tougher. Certainly 2 is not an integer power of 8, but somehow we'll make the identities work. We have log base 8 of the cube root of 8. Right? 2 is the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2 to the 1 third. Sorry, 8 to the 1 third. Log base 8 of 8 to the 1 third is 1 third. Remember the common logarithm? Whenever you see a log without the base written, L-O-G, this is the base 10 log. And so this is the same as the log base 10 of 10 to the 6th. And so that's just 6. Same thing here. This is the, the common log, log base 10. So this is log base 10. What power of 10 is this? It's the square root of 10 cubed. So that's 10 to the 3 halves. So again, log base 10 of 10 to the 3 halves is 3 halves. One last example. I didn't use the second identity until now, but now I need the second one. Trouble is, this is not, these are not the same bases, so I'm going to have to do something here. Well, I can write 9 as 3 squared. 3 squared to the log base 3 of x. And I can use the power to a power property, 3 to the 2 log base 3 of x. And then I can use the log of a power property. This exponent, or sorry, this uh, coefficient can come inside as an exponent. I get 3 to the log base 3 of x squared. So by the second identity, 
3 to the log base 3 of x squared is just x squared.